Hemp is an annual fibrous plant that is grown for many uses and has been grown in our history for up to 8,000 years. Marijuana is the either recreational use or the medicinal use of the psychoactive compounds within the cannabis plant. Industrial hemp, you get a lot of the strains that don't have the psychoactive compound THC in it at all, so absolutely useless as a drug. The history of hemp has been traced back to China to 6 to 8,000 BC and is, it is thought of to be the first plant cultivated by man for fiber uses. Um, from there it can be traced in nearly every culture and every civilization for, in, being used from everything for sails in all the ships that sailed the earth, the, all the ropes. Um, the first Bible was printed on hemp paper, it was used in the building of the pyramids. Hemp moved across also through the sailing ships um, into the American colonies and was actually grown by George Washington and Thomas Jefferson and people don't realize that the first drafts of the American Declaration of Independence were actually written on hemp paper. You could pay your taxes with hemp as well. Hemp is prized for its multitude of uses and also Brit Britain wouldn't have ruled the seas so much if they didn't have access to Russian hemp. Throughout history, hemp had a very big role in, in industry, but towards the um, sort of beginning of the, of the 20th century, it started losing a little bit of market share to cotton because the hemp fiber is it's quite hard to get off the stalk. In 1930, a man called Schlichten invented, invented a new machine to take the fiber off hemp while it was green. The Hearst Corporation built, bought up the rights for this machine. They then squashed the design for this machine and ran a campaign with DuPont who had just invented nylon and a lot of the petrochemical industries as well to ban, get hemp banned because it was now competition. The history is quite involved, but when you look at the facts, it is, there's no way that this plant is criminalized because it's as a part of it can be abused. It is because of its threat to major corporations and big business. When America banned hemp and put a lot of pressure on the rest of the Western world to follow suit, there was only one Western country that decided that they would continue growing and that was France. The rest of the countries that have traditionally grown hemp have been the communist countries. You find a lot in Serbia, Hungary, obviously China being the world leader, they are growing by far the most. At the, since the 1990s, there's been a resurgence in the West and Canada was the first major country that changed and now they're growing 50,000 hectares at the moment. The UK has now got licenses, Germany, Austria, Switzerland, Australia, New Zealand is looking at changing laws. The major use that most people know these days is for the textiles. The, the fibre of the hemp is three times the tensile strength of cotton and it's a hollow fibre so it's a lot more breathable. Wearing hemp, it's comfortable, it's breathable, it's, it's the classic saying is it wears in, not out. Um, the other uses that are coming up in France, they're developing the building industry. What they do is uh, chip up the stalk and mix it with lime and you actually get this, which is a hemp brick. The other, the other product that's really big in building is the chipboard, which is lighter than wood, it's better insulating than wood and obviously there are no trees going into it again and it's on a sustainable basis. Big opportunity for Africa is the nutrition side of hemp. Hemp is the optimum ratio of omega fatty acids for our body and the protein in it is globulin edison, edison. And globulin edison is a very absorbable protein. Your body can digest it a lot easier than it can even the soy protein. So specifically for nutrition blocking diseases such as TB, it makes a very good porridge or, or a supplement on a daily basis for people who are sick. Besides that, the oil can also be used to make fuel. Um, it makes a really good biodiesel. Another very important use for hemp is paper. It makes up to four times as much pulp per acre as trees and obviously on a sustainable basis you're getting after four to six months a yield of, of pulp instead of waiting for six to eight years or even longer for trees. There's now hemp plastic as well which is, this is amazing, this is coming out of Australia now. People don't realize that up to 50% of our oil goes into making plastics and even if we stop driving cars today it wouldn't sort out our fuel problem and our oil problem in the Middle East. So this technology is, is really exciting. Environmentally, hemp is a very positive plant because it 
it grows very fast so it absorbs a lot of carbon which as we all know this is a big issue with global warming. It also uses, cuts down your use of pesticides and other chemicals in the farming practice so it will stop your pollution of rivers and land and all that. The Canadian company has worked out, they've grew an acre of cotton and an acre of hemp and tested the inputs on, of water and pesticides and a hemp t-shirt uses 300 litres less water and a cup and a half of pesticides less than cotton. So that is an am amazing, They've actually, that, they, that you can actually see the effects immediately on planet saving and, and your know, costs reduction for a farmer to grow hemp versus cotton. In South Africa currently the situation is that hemp is only grown for research purposes. It is controlled by the Department of Health and the permit is at the moment currently a permit to grow a narcotic drug. It is a situation where our government is, is yet to recognise the difference between industrial hemp and medicinal marijuana or dacha on that side. We as Emporium see our role as very much as an educational tool at the moment. Our tagline is innovate, educate, cultivate. Innovate, we're trying to show as many different products as possible to show the versatility of the plant. The educate comes in through our exposure, through what we've created here in our space where people walk in thinking hemp's about one thing only and that is generally smoking. They walk in here and they learn that it's about so much more, that that is something that you know, doesn't even come, to, come into what, what we do here. This, this is about hemp as a building material, as a, a food, as a job creator, as a nice comfortable um, item to wear. Obviously the, in, the cultivate that comes in at the end is somewhere where we're aiming towards. We, we want to be hemp farmers and we want to be creating jobs, we want to be building houses and we want to be feeding people. That is our ultimate aim. I feel there's a big future for hemp in South Africa in the way that the solutions it offers are so much more needed here than they are in any of the first world countries. Here we need people to have jobs, we need people to be growing organically and looking after our soil, we need people to have houses that are built nicely, they aren't these cement brick house with a tin roof that are absolutely terrible to live in. And then nutrition to, for people to feed themselves properly and to actually feel full and to have a healthy lifestyle. So it's very, it can offer a lot on that side. So the, yes, the future is bright if we can just get it through this, this system and, and uh, get it to a, a place where a farmer can actually grow hemp as an industrial crop. I believe the hemp plant as an energy, especially because there are so many people across the planet that are fighting for its liberation. The people who are really putting a lot of energy in educating and showing people the potential for this plant. And it is a plant that has been done an injustice. So wearing it has spirit as well, because you feel in your spirit that you're making a difference, not only in your uh, showing to yourself or to your friends or educating people as to what you're wearing, but also in the environmental side in the consciousness that you have saved pesticides, you have saved water as well. Usually you'll find people who are more spiritual will seek out a product such as hemp because they are now thinking and consciousness is basically thinking and becoming aware and very much aware of what you put on your body or what you put in your body and what you do to your immediate surroundings and the planet as a whole.